Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro, the Mi 9T Pro, also known as the Raphael and Raphael Inn. Now, this right here is Siberia Next Gen and there are a lot of things that I want to talk to you guys about. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find the link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going all right so a big huge disclaimer in fact a couple of them first of all we don't recommend overclocking your display or any hardware for that matter now this right here is something that i have not overclocked but it is a feature of this particular rom which means this is a next gen pre-release build of siberia os which is going to be coming in october it comes with 81 hertz display mode by default it needs some color adjustments and some calibration here and there now the developer barney nato is doing a great job i'm constantly in touch with him and remember he's testing this particular rom with 20 to 25 people i being one of them and one of my elite testers prateek is testing as well so a big shout out to barney for making an amazing rom a big shout out to prateek for testing this and all the testers to put their devices at risk and make sure that you guys don't have any issues and even when released this will release as a siberia pro version which you will have to take membership for or something like that last thing please don't ask for the link of this particular rom because this is still in testing so this is an exclusive first look at next gen siberia which will come with a ton of changes including a new gaming mode so let's go ahead and have a look what exactly do we have so the moment you go into settings you go to about phone and you click on the android version you will notice it is siberia version 4.8 comes with a september security patch and the build date is latest 22nd of september 2021 and it does still come with the latest soviet star kernel now put things into perspective here as you can see it is at 81 hertz so it is constantly running at 81 fps so it is very very close to a 90 fps display now to answer your questions will this hurt my device it is overclock i've gone you know months without having any issues but your luck may vary it also depends how old your phone is and how comfortable you are because remember the k20 pro has an expensive display panel in india it costs around seven to eight thousand rupees so please be careful with what you do but in my experience in a very very long time i've not seen displays dying because of overclocking and stuff but trust me this is completely at your own risk and you do have the option of dialing it down to 60 hertz when the rom is released you will have that option and i'm comfortable using this at 81 hertz now the camera application over here it comes with a full-fledged g cam which is really really great and as you can see over here you don't really have a lot of applications installed so this rom boots very very light right now you do have the launcher over here if you go to home settings you have a ton of customization in the launcher of siberia os as well now usually i don't go by these comments that this rom is best and that rom is best but i'll tell you this the amount of effort this guy is putting into this rom is amazing and not only me a lot of the subscribers a lot of the people who are using this rom swear by it that siberia os is giving a great experience in the long run as well well, gaming performance on that topic what i'd like to share here is we have two gaming test videos coming for siberia os next gen one would be with 60 hertz or 60 fps and the other one would be with 90 fps unlocked on an 81 hertz panel so do stay tuned for that but overall you know this rom is giving a great experience in terms of security gaming and everything else and as you look at the launcher it does have a ton of customization for your dock for your app drawer, for your folders, your recents. So basically you can customize almost everything. Now to the left, you can go ahead and enable the Google feed. And from the top, you do have a ton of customization options here as well. It does have something really, really interesting. That is the panic trigger, which you can use in an emergency situation. You have heads up, you have reboot, you have weather, you have live display. NFC is for the Mi 90 Pro and you have the screen recording option as well. 
So even if you, for example, go ahead and enable the screen recorder here, you can record internal and external audio and you have a ton of other options. You will get the counter over there and then the screen recording will begin. And as you can see over here, even in the 81 Hertz mode, I don't see any screen flickering, any other issues or anything going on at all. It is smooth as butter. So let's go ahead and disable this. There you have it. Let's have a look at the screen recording. So yeah, not only you can enable 90 FPS by whatever method you wish to, you can actually go ahead and record your gameplay. And this ROM is truly making the K20 Pro a beast in almost each and every, every sense. Now, let me tell you this. Let's talk about Siberia settings over here because that is something really, really neat. You see these moving icons that makes the experience really, really different, really, really special. So if you go to system over here, you have general tweaks, you have sensor block per package, you have buttons, you have FOD tweaks. So you have FOD icon picker in which you have a ton of FOD icons, fingerprint animation, select fingerprint animation effect, screen of fingerprint as well, right? So say I lock and I unlock and it unlocks like a breeze and you do have a ton of animations over here. So let's have a look at one of the other animations. There you go. So the screen uh, fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine. You do have a ton of notification customization. You have a dialer customization. Moving on, you have the panels option in which you have status bar, notifications, navigation bar. You have a ton of lock screen customization, gestures over here, double tap to sleep. And then you have the brand new gaming mode. Now gaming mode is the rage all these days. Recently we did a video on Dotto S version 5.2, which has a splendid gaming mode based on Android 12. And if you look at this, this has an amazing gaming mode. And do we have a game installed? We don't really have a game installed. So let's say do it for Google Chrome maybe. And let's launch Google Chrome here gaming mode turned on gaming mode turned off so the amount of options that you have in this particular gaming mode is display the notification content in the form of dan mako in the game so you can disable this because it keeps sliding text i'm not going to use it disable automatic brightness show menu overlay disable notification alert no ringing answer calls automatically and disable gestures so of course, I'm not going to get into each and every option here, but you do have your always on display as well. And let's see, you lock the screen. There you go. The double tap to wake, double tap to sleep. Everything is working great and you do have a ton of customization. So all in all, if you ask me, Siberia OS has been doing a great job on the Redmi K20 Pro and I've been using it, trying it with different users in my community and Barney has been doing a great job as well. Once again, this version is going to be Siberia Pro. I don't know when it will be released, but it should be released really, really soon because there are a few things that he's left to work on and I would highly recommend you go ahead and subscribe to him because he's doing a lot of hard work. The Pro version is definitely worth it. If you look at the benchmark numbers, your battery life, your gaming experience, everything is great on this particular ROM and it does come with Gcam as well. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this exclusive access of Siberia Pro which is coming soon. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phonops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.